Well, another huge matchup for the recurve men's bronze medal. A man from Great Britain who proved good enough to be a world under 18 champion back in 2013, going up against this man, the Brazilian, who is the man in form. He won the Hyundai Archery World Cup finals in Hermesilio last year, uh, as well as taking a world championship bronze medal. Vegas gold in 2023 for Dalmeida as well. But he was also a 2015 world youth champion and it will be the brazilian to shoot first the fat arrows from the brazilian cutting the line houston also shooting with the big arrows john not this is a big one of course you're going to be favoring patrick houston but uh, both shooting with the big arrows. Absolutely. And you saw him mark his first shot there. If that had been his normal outdoor arrow, that would not have been the 10. So that's the first time today for a recurve we've seen, seen them pay off. Uh, yeah, I really yeah. want Pat to win this match. But man, he's against a serious opponent, isn't he? Yeah, he certainly is. The man in form, that is for sure. 10, 10, 10. Perfect score. Cracking start from Dalmeida, but Houston also on for a perfect. 10, 10, 10. Perfect score. And he nails it as well to share the set points. John, don't often get to talk to uh, someone who's so close to the athletes, uh, particularly, obviously, for the, the Great Britain athletes. But the, these athletes, when they're shooting in training, can all shoot 10. So it all comes down to personality when you're in this situation. And we have got two contrasting personalities here. Marcus Dalmeida has dug deep. He's fought hard. Yes, they're both youth world champions, uh, but he's got a very of single-minded very calm determination whereas houston is a bit more of a personality on the circuit patrick is a huge personality he likes to be psyched up he likes to uh, he listens to certain playlists or a match depending on his mood and you know he'll probably listen to some hardcore techno music for the last half an hour to, <laughs> to get feeling but patrick will love that his lights he will love his darkness he, He's a man who, who performs on a stage. All square going into the second set. Great insight from John, who mixes Patrick Houston's playlist before competition. Fourth in a row. Snap, says Paddy Houston. Yeah. Well, I wonder if the dropped arrow there from Dalmeida put Houston off a little bit. Didn't matter. Got a 10. Nine. But perhaps it was a sign of nerves from the Brazilian. Oh, shaking a full draw here. Holds on for another perfect, and Patrick Houston has gone 3-1 up against the man in form. He dug on that last arrow. I was not sure where that was going. And fair play to Patrick, fine in the middle. Again, he was thinking, now made his shot at night. I've got a chance to win this set. And all of a sudden, that 10 starts shrinking, your bow starts moving, that clock ticks and ticks and ticks. Brilliant shot for Patrick there. He dug on that. For the neutral here, 
uh, this is the way that you want the match to go, isn't it? That you want the sort of... I, I, I hate to call Patrick an underdog, but he certainly is given the form of uh, Marcus Dalmeida. You want the underdog yeah. to lead. You want them to get out to a, to a flyer. But I have to say, Patrick Houston looking very calm apart from that very last arrow. Absolutely. So it'll be interesting to see how he is in this set now. What Now he's gone up. Can he maintain that level? So Dalmeida, world number one. He's going to shoot first in the third set. Training by three set points to one. Ten. Looks like it cut the line to me. Definitely. Keeping his cool. To a perfect score for the Brazilian. Pressure on now. Nine. Just let that one go a little bit quickly. And a 29 place 30 means we are all square at three set points apiece. Uh, John, look, you're the expert here, but it, it, that was certainly a quicker shot than the previous two. Absolutely gave that too much with his front arm. I think he. He tried to, you know, he pushed it through this front. This what, seven arrow right. Delmeda, I felt, sped up there. Patrick is a slow shooter, naturally. Patrick doesn't have a quick shot. He will use his time. I feel Delmeda sped up that end, giving Patrick less recovery. Boy, Patrick rushed that last shot. Interesting, that, because that's a sort of Sara Lopez tactic, isn't it? To shoot fast yep. to allow less time for recovery. Yeah, absolutely. You have to be really good to do it, though. Yeah, you certainly do. 3-3 three, three, as we go into the fourth. Houston versus Dalmeida. Nerve jangling battle again for bronze in the recurve men's competition here at the Sud de France hey, hey, hey. archery tournament. Another perfect from the world number one. Very shaky. Oh, and that's gone away. That has got away from him. Yeah, Patrick's boy language wasn't great when he came off the line then. So, you know, it's Almeida's been shooting first in the entire match. So he is dictating the pressure on Patrick. So Patrick's never had a chance. The pressure on Marcus has always been playing catch up. So, last 10 5 3 to Marcus. Patrick is shooting first now. Patrick can help him out. 
Interesting stuff there from John Knott. Uh, trying to remain impartial, which actually, John, I congratulate you on. You're doing really well. But I, I think that the analysis is, is spot on that, 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 that there's... Well, I, I suppose let's turn it around. Is the is the pressure now off Patrick Houston? Is he is he now in a situation where there's nothing to lose? Absolutely, absolutely. He knows he needs three tens if he wants to win this, you know, because Dalmeida is probably not going to shoot any less than twenty nine. Well, here we go. Patrick Houston shooting first in the fifth set. Drifted over there, and there was a bit of movement as well as he released the arrow. <laughs> Nerves of steel from the world number one. <laughs> wow. That's what he needs, the Brit. Back in the middle. Bit of pressure, perhaps, on Marcus Dalmeida. <laughs> Seemingly not. A 29, not a bad score at all. But a nine, nine. enough for the victory here in the bronze medal match. But another perfect. That's four out of five for the world number one. And he's taken the bronze medal here at the Sud de France Archery Tournament. Seven points to three. And as far as he was concerned, there was no doubt. It was some performance from Patrick Houston from Great Britain. But the eight in the fourth. Open the door for the world number one, and he will be on the podium. Marcus Dalmeida from Brazil, the bronze medalist at the Sud de France Archery Tournament of 2024.